in terms of finding a property here in the Philippines, what are the difficulties that you have faced and how does the company help you with that? I think the, uh, some of the challenges of finding property is ensuring that the land has the correct titles, um, that you have someone who can support you through the, the legal processes of making sure that everything is legitimate and the land is, uh, is sellable. Um, I think that's where a company uh, such as yours helps you through that process because even if you are familiar with it, uh, it, it, can be, it can be difficult and you need to get the best advice and reliable advice so you don't get caught out. While constructing the house, I bet you are, you are not here all, no, most we, of the time. We're, we're based in Manila, um, so what we needed to know was that we had a company that was local. Uh, that understood um, you know, the circumstances uh, of, the, of the item that we're building upon, uh, the, the, say, the legal requirements, the building permits and all of those codes, um, and that we could do that from a distance. Obviously we have flown down in the time, but um, it, it's good to know that someone here on the ground is, uh, is running the operation. What made you commit or make a um, transaction with the company? What is the go signal? I think the, the thing was, was uh, we, we wanted to know that the building was going to be built to a high standard. Um, and I think that's what the company offers is this uh, sort of a standard of build that's North American. Attention to detail, quality uh, construction, using good workers, paying the workers well so that they're professional in everything they're doing. And I think that's what stood out. Um, and I think uh, Gore's company had that, they understood what we were looking for um, and so that was important and I think that's where the, 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 the bridge was, was met on, on their expectations and what they could deliver and, and finding that, that what was achievable and getting good feedback, um, it, you know, it's, it's, it's so essential on what you can do and what you can't do um, and understanding that not everything you want is necessarily possible or right. So what made you choose to buy a property here in Gabayan? Um, we, we love this area. I think this, this area, Dumaguete, Bahol, Sikihor, um, Southern Cebu, uh, is just an incredible area um, to, to, to live and, and to work in and to travel in. I think you've got so many interesting points. Uh, what attracts us about Sikihor is, is, for me, is the diving, but also you've got incredible beaches, uh, you've got interesting history. Um, there's a lot of development taking place, but, but interesting development. You're seeing um, independent uh, restaurants, and um, it's just a really exciting time. So, last question: um, If you're going to, if you're going to recommend the company, why is it? Um, I, I, I would say I would go back to that point. It's, it's really about the sort of the quality of the workmanship, the feel, what you're getting. Um, yeah, you might find something cheaper, but you're not going to get the same quality. And I think most people, especially especially foreigners, they have an expectation of what a build should be like, and I think that's where Gord meets it. But you're still getting a phenomenal deal compared to what you would be paying back home, and you're getting stunning views. Um, and as I say, I think this island, I mean, just come just come visit, it, travel around, um, you know, get to get to see what the place has to offer. Um, it really is incredible and I think anyone who was interested in investing um, and looking for sort of opportunities in the Philippines should look here um, and I think they should look quickly because it won't last for long. Um, so yeah, get your checkbooks out.